This is Alpha Cruz, just coming with an updated appropriate deck to my other appropriate deck, Exodia, um, the one I built in earlier this year, around February. Pretty much the same build, and since people were saying one day it pieces to one, which I know, and saying I got banned, I just pretty much substituted three cards and added a few more extra cards to my extra deck. The deck still runs the same and still is beastly. I say it's still a tier two, so. This is my Exodia appropriate deck, and since I already posted it before, I'm just gonna go through it quickly and just show you the cards I substituted. So, as we all know, you need all five pieces of Exodia in your hand, you automatically win, stops chains, and everything, breaks chains, and everything. I had two car card Ds. I had a uh, um, max E before, but I put in car card D. It works way better and faster. But I sided them out, so I still have them. Three blue eyes, white dragons. Use them in combination with trade in. Three white stones of legend. Use them in combination with. Card of Continents and Synchroing and anything else you want to do with this deck. I had two emissaries before, but since Sangan got banned, I put in a third one. And you'll see why. It works great. Um, that's it for the monsters. Only 16 monsters. And next up is the magic. The key magic before, which was broken, was one day apiece. Um, each player draws one card, and either person takes damage to the end of your opponent's turn. I ran three before, because it was allowed. Now it's down to one, so I put in two Upstart Goblin. Upstart Goblins. Um, pretty much, it's like, everything else will go but together. It's like just putting the deck together, like sewing it. Uh, hopefully you know what I mean. Three hand instructions. Normally, you're negative. You're going into the negative, but with appropriate on the field, or you can activate appropriate, but you're plusing because you're discarding two, draw two, and if appropriate is activated, you're drawing two more. So you're plusing four cards and only dropping two. To protect your deck, uh, Book of Eclipse, your opponent summons a monster or attacks, put your opponent's monster's face down, and at the end phase, they flip. Face up defense, and your opponent draws a card. Um, and since they drew, I'm oh sorry, they draw a phase, and it's also their end phase. You draw if appropriate, or if appropriate is face down, you can activate it, and you do not uh, um, draw off his first initial activation. But it's also good since it's their end turn, um, they can't activate any magic cards, like if they drew Heavy Storm and, or whatnot. Unless it's a quick play. Two card of consonants. So you're going to drop those white stones, you draw two, and search blue eyes, thinning out the deck. And I only run two because three is too much for here. You're not trying to OTK with um, the dragons. It's just giving you extra draw power to set up for appropriate. And once you get those blue eyes to your hand, if you have trade in, trade them in, draw two more cards. They're just extra draw power and a uh, circle around. One pot of avarice, since it's at one. Uh, just recycle the monsters, put them back in your deck. Draw two. Continue going. Two pod dualities just to search out um, the top three cards. Whatever you need at the time, just get it. Set up for appropriate. You don't necessarily need to special summon. But later on I'll show you why it's better to special summon. One D synchro. Like if you get an emissary on the field or two emissaries and a white stone. You can synchro for Mistworm, bounce your cards, desynchro, um, synchro again, search out two more pieces. If you have the head already in your hand, that's pretty much game. Or you could desynchro and overlay for Lava Chain. And then you could discard, put the head of Exodia on top, so that your next card you're drawing is the head of Exodia. That's it for the magics. The key trap is appropriate. This is the engine of the deck. Um, your opponent draws 
um, many cards outside of his draw phase, you draw two cards. So every deck almost draws like crazy. So while they're drawing, you're drawing extra. And with one day apiece, um, you can activate it. Or if it's already activated, you're drawing three. And then hand struck, you're drawing extra. And with Book of Eclipse, which also protects your deck too. Um, three dark bribes. Um, negate whatever your opponent activates, magic or trap wise. And they draw a card. Since the last thing is them drawing, you also draw um, from appropriate if already activated. And if it's face down, you can draw. You can activate it. I mean, but you do not draw on your first activation of appropriate. Don't you want to get disqualified? And one ultimate offering. I say you have ultimate offering and two appropriates on the field. You're pretty much drawing and then trying to get all your monsters to your hand. And then you can bring out emissary, emissary, emissary. Whitestone, Synchro for Mistworm, Bounce, search out two pieces, Desynchro, Overlay the two, um, the two Emissaries to bring out Lava Chain, and use his effect to bring a piece of Exodia to the top. I'll show you the extra deck now. It's just one Formula Synchron. You can pretty much use Whitestone and a Limb if you need draw power. Send them to the graveyard, draw a card, search white stone. If you have DC and Crow, just do it again if you want. If, I don't recommend it, but you could do it again. Draw another card and another blue eyes. Two level five, because you can synchro with emissary and white stone. Put a DG Librarian and a Catastor. Let's say you have uh, two emissaries on the field and two white stones. Synchro for Hyper Librarian first. Search out a piece of Exodia and a Blue Eyes, then Synchro the second set for this card. Search out another piece of Exodia and another Blue Eyes, and you're also drawing since with T J Baron's effect. Iron Chain just to have a level six. Like if you have the five already, some White Stone bring out a six, and it's going to increase little by by one pretty much. Seven, eight. And you're nine if you have two miss worms. I mean, um, two emissaries on the field. That's the synchros for this deck, you, which are needed. Then I run two Diagosto Emeralds. Pretty much, you can send. If you have three monsters in your graveyard, detach, put three monsters back in your deck, shuffle, draw one card. So, like a mini pot of arrows. Well, is a secondary effect is also good. You could target one non-effect monster in your graveyard, which is the blue eyes, bring it to the field. So even if your pieces are gone and you want to go offensive, you could do that pretty much. And two lava chains. Like I said with the emissaries, overlay the emissaries, bring out lava chain, activate his effect, put the head of Exodia on top, which is the one you're mainly trying to get. If you don't already have game, then you should have more draw power because appropriate is on the field and the whole deck magic wise is drawing so then guarantee the next piece of exodia is going to be the next card on top and you don't have to worry about um, decking out um, I'm going to get more better ones but for now um, um, number 39 utopia just in case you want to overlay the two level fives bring out tyrus or Volcosaurus, and if in case you have well, two blue eyes on the field, pretty much bringing out Thunder and Dragon, detach, pop every monster on the field, attack directly, and so forth. Uh, for the side deck, I run two max seeds, three swift iron scarecrows, One upstart goblin since it's at three, so might as well if you want to. Two micros, two soul drains, two skill drains, and then it was card two mind drains. Pretty much they all pay a thousand, negate something. Like with soul drain. Pay a thousand, and all monsters that are banished, as well as monsters that are in the graveyard, can activate their effects that start a chain. 
skill drain, any monster that's on the field, this effect is negated, which doesn't matter with this deck because everything's graveyard activated. And the newest card, so you don't have to worry about much, is Mind Drain. Activate by paying a thousand. Effect monsters in the hand cannot be activated. But Exodia is a win condition. This does not stop Exodia, so if you don't believe me, just look it up. That is my updated appropriate Exodia deck by Alpha Cruz 83. Just hit me up if anything.